And part of the reason uh, that you're credited with the victory uh, there in the Commonwealth, it'll likely be a big issue in the midterms as well. Uh, critics of your position, and, and you sign an executive order again that would, quote, end the use of divisive concepts in schools, which is an allusion to critical race theory. Critics of your position, including former President Obama, say, look, critical race theory is not being taught in schools and that this was merely a, a, a trumped-up, phony culture war. What do you say to that? And, and what does your executive order actually do in terms of critical race theory? Well, anyone who thinks that the concepts that actually underpin critical race theory are not in our schools, hasn't been in our schools. And oh, by the way, I think the school systems in Virginia, and particularly in Loudoun County, have been doing everything they can to try to, try to obfuscate the fact that the curriculum has moved in a very, very opaque way that has hidden a lot of this from parents. And so we are, in fact, are going to increase transparency so that parents can actually see what's being taught in schools. And we have instructed our, our Board of Education, I have instructed our Secretary of Education, our State Superintendent of Public Schools, to review the curriculum and get racially divisive and other divisive teaching concepts out of the school system. Mm. We're not going to teach our children to view everything through a lens of race. Yes, we will teach all history, the good and the bad, because we can't know where we're going unless we know where we have come from. But to actually teach our children that one group is advantaged and another is disadvantaged simply because of the color of their skin cuts across everything we know to be true. And the immortal words of Dr. Martin Luther King ring in our ears that mm. we must judge one another by the content of our character and not the color of our skin. But this is what will be the founding principle of our executive order, what we're going to do in Virginia schools. But, Governor, just so I've got it straight here, is, is it your contention that critical race theory is being taught in Virginia public schools? There's not a course called critical race theory. All of the principles of critical race theory, the fundamental building blocks of actually accusing one group of, of being, being oppressors mm -hmm. and another of being oppressed, of actually burdening children today for, for sins of the past, for teaching our children to judge one another yeah. based on the color of their skin, yes, that does exist in Virginia schools today, and that's why we have passed that we have, I signed the executive order yesterday to make sure that we get it out of our schools. So I asked the question about the courses in critical race theory because again that's a contention of critics that there are no courses on critical race theory that are being taught in Virginia public schools and Scott Maneo who is a member of Parents Against Critical Race Theory has this message uh, for you governor he says promising to ban CRT is empty unless he the governor is willing to publicly state that he will also ban the tenets of CRT as CRT is only a framework so will you ban the tenets of CRT and and how do you ensure as you just said, that we will teach all of our history, the good and the bad, in a fair way. Well, first of all, that's exactly what we did yesterday, was we actually went at the tenets of CRT. We went at the tenets of racially divisive concepts, because that's exactly where the underpinning of CRT is embedded in, embedded in our schools in Virginia. Mm. We absolutely have to recognize that what the left liberals do here is try to obfuscate this issue by saying there's no course called critical race theory. Well, of course there's not in elementary school. But in fact, there are absolutely the tenets of CRT present in the schools, and that's what our executive order went at yesterday. Now, let me ask you about this rape in